but good morning. All you fine folks out there this morning. This is Granny with Granny and Grumpy's Homestead. And I thought today I would take you on a day in the life of me with my dogs. So let's get going. Let's get our keys first. have a cat, our resident cat. Her name is Miss Kitty. She's waiting to get something to eat. So I have a big container here I fill up. And generally about once a month. Let's see. Maybe I should put two scoops in. That'll help me in. That'll help her. Okay. Now, here we go. Let's go get in our car. So the accident that I had still has not been taken care of by Farm Bureau. Uh, they're really uh, taking it slow. And uh, we've got to speed them up a little bit because I need my car fixed. And... You know, see what happened here? Looks pretty bad. Looked worse when it first happened. I got hit pretty hard. A lady uh, backed into me in a drive through <laughs> I know. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyway. <laughs> she said she didn't see me. I don't know. This is a small car, but I don't think it was that... So, let's turn this around. Oh. Granny has a little bit of struggles getting in and out of cars. Um, because my legs don't bend enough. And. Hold on just a minute. It's almost 70 degrees this morning. Which is pretty, pretty, uh, hot. Supposed to be getting to be fall, but for whatever reason, we're having a, a sh short little hot spirit period. Okay, so let's go. We have a field of sweet potatoes across the street from us, and they have not picked them up yet. We're not really sure why. There's two fields actually. See all those sweet potatoes, guys. I go down uh, the regular road instead of going through the yard all the time because it's making such bad ruts in the, ru in the yard. Makes it harder whenever Bob's um, doing the uh, mowing. So here is the barn on our, well, we call it the shop because in the middle shop is where his uh, woodworking shop will be. Things look a little bit quiet, and they are. Now, once I get out, you're going to hear the, the barking, insanity barking of these dogs. They get the opportunity to be to be outside during the day except for two of them two of them climb so they have to the door stays open during the day hours and those two they have to uh, this is a plant some plants there's four of them uh, called comfrey and we'll talk about that at a later date um, fixing to plant them they like cooler weather Something's biting me. Ow. So let's get it into the yard. Have to do a real good job of locking this gate because um, they know how to do things. <laughs> they do a lot of jumping. 
Okay, let's turn this around. Here we go. This is where my dogs stay. They are not happy. <laughs> Smells like dogs in here. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to set this up on the tripod thing so that you can actually get a view of what's going on in here. Hopefully they don't knock down everything. So, let's see. This is where the puppies stay. The puppies stay in this... Um, Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, good morning to you, we're all in our places with sun shining faces, so this is the way to start a new day. When I was in first grade, that's what we sang every single morning. The un, unhappy thing that will happen in here while I am doing stuff this morning. Let me move this tripod so you can see me better throughout what I'm doing. Um, is I have to clean up a lot of excrement, a lot of poop throughout the day. That's why we started letting them outside was because I got kind of fed up after months and months and months and months of this. And come on, Junior. Come on, buddy. Junior is Penelope's only little boy that I have left. We think we're going to keep him because he looks like his daddy. Come on, Junior. Let's go outside. here at present. <laughs> a lot of dogs. And um, I put my purse thing up. Bob doesn't like me to be without my phone. And right now my phone's being used, but he wants me to keep it with me. So I bought this little Percy thing. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I forgot. No, 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 no. Come here, Nikki. Come here. 
of having a broke back, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, Mr. Needham thinks that he's supposed to populate the entire earth. <laughs> Come on, guys. You're not going to, you're not going to get any food yet. You have to go outside for a long time this morning. Come on. Everybody, let's go. There we go. We put Penelope down in her little, sorry you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm putting Penelope in her 4x4 four four fence. Uh, if I don't, Mr. Needham will not leave her alone forever. <laughs> and we're not having that problem. She would not be able to uh, deliver puppies, and we're not going to let her die from that. Everybody out. Everybody out. Nobody's getting fed today until we go outside for a little time. No water, no food, no nothing. Let's go, everybody. I've got clean cages. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Come on, everybody. here with the dogs for a little while for about two months and then we were able to finally get into the house so that we could sleep because the smell um, the outgassing of everything was just so bad uh, from the floors and from uh, just much much things so we finally have um, everything squared away up at the house except we've got to put furniture in and got to get everything finished but um, we have, because this is a cement pad, this is something you need to consider when you have a, a do uh, I call it the dog house. When you have a dog house, um, if you have a cement pad, a cement floor, you need to cover it in some kind of something. Now, I would, it would be better not to be tile. Uh, it would be better to be vinyl. Vinyl can be washed over and over and over and over with Clorox and, and different things, enzyme killers and stuff for the smell of, of poop and dogs. Um, however, um, I'm going to have to sit down in a few seconds, so excuse me a second while I put this tub down. Usually, usually I... Oh, Hard. Usually, I um, let's just be clean for a little bit. Usually, I have towels down for the dogs. So, you know, in the morning and all day long, you have to keep sweeping because they bring in all this leaf debris that's outside the door, and. It's pretty, 
it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of leaf debris. And that, this is the reason why Bob built a fence around the first, the younger pecan tree and why he, he built the fence, period. So that um, I could get away from doing nothing but cleaning this. It's not helped me, number one. When you are uh, being a husband to, when you have animal husbandry of whatever nature, it's not healthy to be in their poop and pee all the time. It can cause a lot of illness. And right now we don't want any illness. We're sick of it. <laughs> so, let's put that right there. And we are going to sit in my chair here. Let's I get everything moved. Yes. The dogs, they uh they wreaked havoc with my electric chair. This back in the cage. They actually made um, <clears throat> they made a mess yesterday. This cage over here's got to be cleaned pretty quick. I can't take too long to just sit, but I I can't sit. I can't just not sit either because it hurts me so bad. Um, until I get my medicine. It hurts me to, whew, hope you can see me. It hurts me to sit, I mean to stand for long, long periods of time. And I've been standing for a lot this morning up at the house as well as, uh, you know, when you get dressed, you gotta, you gotta stand. And so I've been standing up at the house a lot this morning as well. And now, of course, I'm cleaning and I've got to stand. But, um, when you have animal husbandry, you really need to keep things as clean as possible. However, you need to try to not have to be smelling it all the time. And this is why we have this barn. Uh, in the beginning, during the summer, I had both of the air conditioners going. And it wasn't so bad because it filtered the air and things were better. But now that it's getting cold, uh, during the day, we don't have the air conditioner going. And we have two dehumidifiers because cement tends to, um, what can I say? Cement tends to grab a hold of and to cling to water. And even though it may look like the cement is dried, it's harboring a lot of water in it. So we have two uh, dehumidifiers that run in here and they produce a lot of heat so at night um, during the day I don't run the dehumidifier so much but because the sun shines very very hot on this building um, and so if if it's cold outside it equalizes the temp in here but if it's uh, hotter like today's gonna be 78 uh, it's gonna be warmer in here than usual so um, I think I'm going to have to throw Ruthie's little rear end out by outside because she's not going anywhere. She's, hold on guys. Come here, Ruthie. Ruthie, Ruthie. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Ruthie. No more playing. If you don't want to cooperate, you will have to go in your cage for a, a while. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. She is a good dog, but she's, she's only 10 months old. And so she has a lot yet to learn. And she does not like be outside with all the other dogs because they're hard on them. No. No, no. No. No, you're, you're going outside in there.
all of them are out now. Anyway, you need to have something on the floors so that you don't hold on to um, the water that's in the atmosphere. Let me get some cleaning done, and I got some poop to clean up. <laughs> I'm not going to show you that part. <laughs> um, and then I'll come back and let you see the dogs outside as they're playing. So, I got all the poop cleaned up and the pee that was in the cage, the three cages, and got them all cleaned. And now I have, um, I've put their food down, and they have eaten. And I've put plenty of water down, and they've eaten, uh, drank water a lot as well this morning. Uh, they've been in and out of the cage of the doghouse, I should say. Let's see what they're, what's going on. I think you can see them outside. They're playing. They run a lot out there. They do all kinds of things. Mr. Needham's going outside. He doesn't have his diaper on. Because as long as he will go pee outside, then I don't have to have a diaper on him. But I got a feeling he there's a, there was a little bit of water in here on the floor a while ago. I got a feeling he did it. So I'm going to have to put his diaper back on. He doesn't mind a diaper. No, Mr. Needham, stop. Maybe we should put a diaper on him. He's acting... All crazy. Hold on just a minute. So, <clears throat> the dogs are going in and out, in and out, in and out. Most of the time, they don't mess the floor up. So, that's lessening the kind of work I have to do a day which means that um, I put the two uh, climbers in the cage and I can leave and leave everybody else outside. Those two um, mischief makers, <laughs> they do not like when I leave. So they learned to jump and climb over. They jump high up on the top of the fence and then they push themselves off and over. And uh, so we have to put them in a cage because when I leave, which I'm going to be leaving in a few minutes, we live one and a half miles, I think it is, from the uh, convenience center for the dump. Uh, and so I've got trash from them that I've got to go take away and trash from the house. And so when I leave to go do that, if I drive the car out of here, they jump the fence to go after me. So I have to put them in this 42-inch big cage because elsewise they'll get themselves run over and uh, because they, they don't want me to leave them, and uh, which is a little bit insane. <laughs> so I know that it is a characteristic of some dogs that that's the way they are, but um, this old woman is doesn't want that in a dog. And that's why I'm going to be selling the poodle, and that's why I'm going to be selling the Maltese, is because I just can't handle that. I, I don't want that in, in a dog. And so the ones that I like and I want to be with and that I think are so beautiful, I love their ears and their hair, um, is Penelope, Mr. Needham, and Ruthie. And they are all long-haired chihuahuas. And possibly exist, I'm going to keep Junior, too, because he is his daddy's um image he looks just like him uh even to the tip of his tail and so um anyway i reckon i will let you go for a little bit in a, in a little while i'll come back after um, i've got to go to the chiropractor as well today and i need to go eat some lunch somewhere since our kitchen is not ready uh, we go and eat one meal away from the house somewhere and then breakfast we have cereal or yogurt or something like that. I, I eat a lot of plain probiotic yogurt and I eat that for breakfast generally. Uh, then And sometimes I'll put blueberries in it and um, cashews or some kind of nut pecan or something. 
and then um, I will come back after I go to the chiropractor and I have to stop at Walmart real quick before I can leave to come back though and pick up some clocks uh, to wash the towels. Um, the towels that are in their cages and under their cages, I am always um, washing them and I like to use Clorox um, to make sure I'm killing any germs that could be in there. Uh, once a month, I feed all the dogs um, Power and Tail Puma Weight. It's a dewormer, and that way, all of them, uh, no one has worms. And so, I do not give my dogs um, inoculations anymore after um, Spanky died from his shot. And we're pretty positive that's what killed him, what gave him the carbo, because all four, there was four puppies. They never had touched the ground ever in their lifetime. They had been, the 42-inch cage had been up off the ground on top of a dresser. And they had been in that on a constant basis. They had never been on the ground outside. They had never been on the ground inside. They were just always in there. Uh, I had a box that um, I would put them in when I would change their cage out. And that, uh, that box was kept clean all the time. And I would have turned over the top of them so that they couldn't get out. And yet they could breathe real well. I had, a, uh, I had bought a brand new um, uh, laundry basket, that, a big laundry basket that I would turn over into a great big box. The box was from Chewy.com. And uh, that box had been in the sunshine forever and ever and ever before I ever used it. Because I'm very, very particular. I want to make sure my dogs stay healthy. My, my husband, it drives me a little bonkers because I'm, uh, he says I'm over particular. Uh, I don't want them to be able to eat things that might hurt them or be exposed to things. So, uh, I don't let people come down here to the shop where they can walk about in the fence because I don't want them catching anything. And Parvo is very, very prevalent right now all over the place. So, um, but it doesn't make a lot of sense that even though these dogs, these puppies had never touched the outdoor ground or anything they had been to get their shot and to get their their checkup and that's all at the vet and they never ever got three of them never ever got sick with the parvo but this one pup got sick with parvo and they were all together all the time so even when spanky got so sick that i had to take him to the hospital they were still in the same cage because i didn't know what was wrong with him and so I know that it had to be the shot uh, because nothing else makes sense. And so because of that, I have quit giving all of my dogs any shots uh, because I am terrified that uh, they are getting sick and are going to die from the parvo. Um, now, I used to give my own shots all the time. Uh, my vet tried to tell me that these shots were not any good. But the strange thing was, uh, I actually had been around all my dogs, and all my dogs had had the shots that I had picked up from Tractor Supply. And none of them got sick with it. None of them. And so, um... My conclusion is the uh, vaccine that was given to him by the doctor at the doctor's office is what killed him. And that the vaccines that you get at Tractor Supply are definitely good because my dogs did not get sick. And so that's what we're going to do if we give any more inoculations is they're all going to be from Tractor Supply. We are not going to be giving inoculations from the doctors anymore. I don't trust them, and um, and I don't trust the doctor that I went to. I have not visited back with him anymore. Uh, I'm going to leave for a little while. Uh, when I get back, um, I will pick up again with you and let you watch the dogs outside.